more lunch break. break. Hello. We're back again with another lunch break. So we got a lot of positive feedback from our SAT <laughs> test taking episode. That was the only positive grade we got is from you guys. Like a lot of the older fans had some like PTSD <laughs> and then a lot of the current high schoolers were in there like they got to feel like they were smarter than us. So we thought we'd bring back this series with another test and this is going to be the DMV. The we'll driver's test. test. The driver's test. Written yeah. driving test. We're taking the driving test. So in California, uh, the test actually has like 30, 36 questions, but today on the sample exam, we're only gonna do 10 questions. Thank goodness. But you're only allowed to get six wrong on the main one. So, so like, you can get no wrong on this. So we, <laughs> let's, let's say, let's try to get a 90%. Wait, it's gonna be fine. Well, I'm the best driver. <coughs> I mean, we're, we're all licensed what? drivers here. But well, when's the last time you actually had to like think about it in I think word about format? It all the time as this I'm driving. This is not the behind the wheel test though. This is knowledge. Do you have the best law knowledge? When was the last time you took it? I was, I was in high school, I haven't taken it since. Have you had any like violations or tickets? Yes, I've had tickets. So you lost. That doesn't mean you're- Zero! That doesn't mean you're a bad driver, right. by the way. That just means you're tickets. efficient. That, that means you got caught. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hold on, Jen doesn't even drive. You don't, you don't even like the freeway. Oh yeah, do you Benson, drive? always in the slow lane. He just enjoys it. I think Chris is a good driver. He's better to go slow than like be haphazard. It's not haphazard if you know what you're doing. Let's just take the test. All right, take one, pass it down. All right. <laughs> Sample driver written test one. This is real, right? This is real? From the DMV website. From the oh. DMV, oh wow, good. I'm glad they have a website now. Ready guys? There's no time. Uh, go. You may drive off a paved roadway to pass another vehicle. Under no circumstances. See, under no circumstances. Oh, duh. Obviously, yeah. under no circumstances. It doesn't even say if you have off-road wheels. But what if you like want to live on the edge? Hey, hey. No, when I see people like go into the shoulder and stuff, I'm like, ooh, bad boy. The Stay first time I've seen lane, that, buddy. like it was normal, was in Massachusetts. I was in Boston and they just drive on the shoulder. Is but, that a thing, Chris? But why doesn't everyone do that then? But like, is it legal though? I don't think it's, it's, it's definitely really a not social, legal. It's really a social thing. But it was so like bizarre, I've, I've never seen that. Number two, you are approaching a railroad crossing with no warning devices and are unable to see 400 feet down the track. Oh, railroad directions. crossings always have like a special... The speed limit is... Uh, I don't know the exact speed. Dude, I bet... <laughs> Let's just say the lowest. The lowest, yeah. Right. Railroad crossing, you always gotta go slow, yeah. Right. I'm gonna go for 25. What? I'm gonna go for 20. 25 is the school zone. Right, but this is no warning devices and you can't see 400 feet down. So it's like. Wow, is that illegal? No warning devices? No, that's, that's illegal. That's scary. Well, some places just are oh my broken. God, you're gonna get yeah. hit by a train. Even, wait, if, wait, even wait. if this isn't the law, you, but should, you should be go going slow. fast. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to say. You gotta get through. You know, right like, in, that's yeah. the Just go right in okay, front wait, of Okay, wait, wait, which one makes sense? 15? I'm putting 15. You're gonna put 20. It's, oh, it's not gonna be 20. Okay. You, can't, you can't pick the middle. Just go, just it's go. always a okay. five at the end. All right, third question. When parking your vehicle parallel to the curb on a level street, A, your front wheels must be turned towards the street. Nope. B, your wheels must be within 18 inches of the curb. C, one of your rear wheels must touch the curb. Rear wheels. Rear wheels. Rear, B, rear wheels. 18 inches. I actually thought it was less than that. I thought it was like 13 or 14 inches. That'd be so funny if, if it was C, one of your real we rear <laughs> Rear wheels. Say that 10 times. It's fast. like crooked. Rear <laughs> wheels. Rear, rear wheels. Rear, rear wheels. When you're emerging onto the freeway, you should be driving at or near same speed as the traffic on the freeway, five to 10 miles per hour slower than the traffic, or the posted speed limit for traffic on the freeway. People See, don't follow a. any it's of a. these. It's A. It's A. It's A. I don't think that's a law. I think that's the social. No, no, no. I, there, you can get a speeding ticket for going too <laughs> slow on the freeway. Well, you are entitled to your own answer. I think I was the most recent person to take the exam. So I remember it was like 65. Yeah. Do you remember this question? Yeah, I do. So it's A. But that's not what it's hey, you, hey, you, it is. A. Get your own answer. I believe You're him. Cheating. He has recent knowledge. When driving in fog, you should use your A, fog lights, don't know B, this. high beams, <laughs> C, low me. beams. I know the answer. Low beams. You know why? There's moisture in the air, and so the light's refracting off the water molecules that are suspended in the atmosphere. It kind of blinds you. And not all cars have fog lights. Most cars you don't have fog lights. You just explained fog like really extra, like water I'm, molecules suspended in the air. I don't even know fog. what, I don't even know what low beams. You normally drive with low beams. A white painted curb means B. It's B. Passenger loading zone is white. And the reason why I know this is because in LA, I have to deal with parking on the street all the time and I have to deal with colored curbs all the time. Let's just throw up that pole of yeah, all yeah. the parking signs right here. <laughs> and and 
I've had to search many times just to double confirm what a yellow curb is and a white curb. I feel like the test should just be deciphering those street signs. Yeah. <laughs> what does this parking sign mean? That'd be like a word problem. Uh? <laughs> you can always read from top down. Is it safe to park right now? Not sure. A school bus is ahead of you in your lane, stopped with red lights flashing. You should stop, then proceed when you think all the children have exited. Slow to 25 and pass cautiously. Stop as long as the red lights are flashing. C, C, C. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is the same as the, the railroad one. Don't run over the children. If, it, if I was using uh, Benson's logic, I'd be like, oh, just do A. California's basic speed law says, A, you should never drive faster than posted speed limits. B, you should never drive faster than is safe for current conditions. Or C, the maximum speed limit in California is 70 miles per hour on certain freeways. I think it's B. B? Basic speed. It's always safe. Safe is always the, the rule of thumb. I don't want to be basic though. According to this basic speed law and that previous question about on being on a freeway, does it mean that all speed limit signs are kind of just suggestions? I just yeah, think it's B because basic speed law can no. mean that there's no signs. Well, that and also let's say it's raining mm -hmm. and you're driving 70 miles an hour and you're like, hey, well, that's, but that's, See, that's I think that's getting pretty advanced. You go with A, whatever. Mm. You go with A. You want to run over kids too. What, what are you talking about? I'm stopping at the flashing. Wait, we're only at, we're already at nine. We're almost done. Okay, okay. You just sold your vehicle. You must notify the DMV within, oh, this is weird. This, 10 days, 10 days. What? You've done this. No, I'm just saying 10 days. Why? Because five Sounds is just too right. short. More I think than 15. A week, a week and a half? What's the difference? The DMV moves so slow anyways, I can tell them in 15 days, they're not gonna see it for 15 weeks. I feel like it's 10 days because it's also 10 days to change your address if you move. All right, I'm gonna put 10. 15 just to be, because that's what I would honestly put. Are you saying 15 because you know that you would procrastinate and wait the longest? Every registration period, I pay the late fee. Because I just put serious? it there and I'm, like, and I'm like, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And then somehow three months go by, and I didn't get to it. <laughs> to avoid last minute moves, you should be looking down the road to where your vehicle will be in about. I actually do this. What, last minute moves? Like if I'm changing lanes and stuff, I try to see where I can go. Yeah, that's why I drive in the slow lane because you're gonna exit at some point. <laughs> yeah, see. Right, Phil? So it's also emerging I lane. prepare myself five minutes before, not 10 seconds before. I'm already in the lane. In five minutes, I will be exiting. No, so. I do that. Because then I don't have to be like, I'm gonna merge five lanes. Isn't it <laughs> <seem? Is> it <laughs> like, you don't like merging? Yeah, it's stressful because people don't. So you look. go. So you go the second to the right lane. All right, all right. It's five to ten seconds. Five to ten. Is it? Yeah. 10 to I actually thought it was less. I thought it was three seconds. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. That's. I love that song. All right, all right. We're done. Wait, I'm gonna. Uh, you put what you want. I'm gonna put B. I'm gonna take the middle route there. Yeah, I was thinking B too. I don't. I don't feel right about it, but I'm gonna do it. How do you guys think you did? I might have gotten one wrong. I think. I, I think I got one wrong. I think I got like two wrong. I think they're all trick questions. It's the, it's the wording. I feel like we, we got more than we thought. I think I got a 1600. All right, let's do it. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah! You can never drive on an unpaved road to pass another vehicle. It's dangerous. Don't do it. Two, a. Yeah, Three, you're four, wrong! <laughs> it's a railroad. Three, B. Yeah. 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 Four, A. Yeah. Five, C. Yeah. Six, B. Yeah. yeah. Dude! Anyone who says Asians are bad drivers, fuck. Wow. Yeah. We're also really good at taking tests. So we're beating one stereotype by being good at another stereotype. <laughs> but wait, this isn't the, the actual driving. That's yet. true, that's true. A, B. Yeah! Oh. Nine, eight. What? Oh, you're wrong. We're all wrong. What? That's Those are stupid nine. rules, honestly. Like Five days. What, that's what, really fast. What do they need to know for? Like, what if I change my mind within that week? Like, I want my car back. Wait, honestly, what do they need to know for? Like, oh, in case maybe like they wouldn't they get into an accident or something. Yeah, or, yeah. Right, that makes sense. This is the one we all thought different ones. Yay! Oh, you know why? I know why. It's because you guys are driving so slow that ten to ten seconds is the no. same distance I would go in five seconds. Yeah, Wait, road, isn't like, that one of the rules? Dude, dude. You should look three no, car lengths ahead. It's, like, that it's one. really far. Dang it! I got two wrong. I heard when you're driving, you're supposed to be able to see the the tires on the the car in front of you. No, that's when you stop at a stop sign. You got three wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a C, bro. Minus one. I got ninety percent, y'all. Well, because you're cheating off of us. I wasn't cheating. You changed your- together! You changed your answers. I only we, changed one. You changed one because of Chris. Well, because we said we were working together. I know, but I was- We just had some differences. It's okay. I got 80%. I got 80% too. Then pass. Do you guys still trust okay. me to drive the crew around? <laughs> Not around railroads, that's for sure. <laughs> we're going to be approaching railroad be like, oh man, there's no warning signs. Oh, and I can't really see 400 feet. 
slow down, Benson. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for watching another episode of Lunch Break. We'll see you on the road. Be sure to uh, watch out for this guy. If you're a train conductor, yeah. you know. <laughs> drive safe, drive defensively. Be Use your signals, your turn signals. Just be a good driver. Yeah. Be a good driver. See you guys next week. <laughs> Bye.